Yeah, it's so it's so different, and like the pilot is awesome, and then it just keeps getting better and better because it is the the conversation that every big marketer wants to have. How do we tap into the Latino demographic? <laughs> How do we, you know, like, because there's so many, there's so many, 50 million plus, how do we get them to buy our stuff? Well, the truth is, is you talk to them like anybody else because they're human stories. And that's what Jane is. It's a human story, outside of the obstacles and the crazy height and stuff, um, <laughs> which some of you few have, so don't, you know, don't lie to yourself. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a story that has been, like, I think just we've been dying to see it, which is just ourselves at the same party. We just want to be invited to the same party. <laughs> and it is a story about a girl that's going through this crazy world and the, uh, like, roller coaster she goes through it. And I think that people relate to a story because we watch art to see fictional reality and be able to reflect our, our daily reality. And you're, you're gonna be able to relate to someone. It doesn't have to be Jane. There are many characters to relate to. And you don't have to be Latino. You just have to have a heart and like a mind and <laughs> want to explore and adventure because I think this show's for everyone. It just happens yeah. to be told by a little brown girl. Yeah. There's, to me, there's three worlds. There's this very grounded world of Jane um, and her family. There's the most broad world, which is Santos, Rogelio's character on The Passions of Santos, mm. who is a president masquerading <laughs> as a general. Um, <laughs> of, <laughs> of, of course. Of, as a doctor. Uh, yeah, as, of, of, course, of a fictional country. Exactly. And uh, <laughs> so we, we track that telenovela within the telenovela. And then the medium world, the, the world that bridges that more broad world and the grounded world is the world of the hotel and Raphael and his wife Petra. And, to Jane, that world is as much a telenovela fantasy leap to her. So we really try to play with those three worlds and uh, filter it all through through that. And I think like the concept of like a telenovela, maybe sadly, has a negative connotation in our country, where it's over heightened acting and it's just completely off the I wall. I wonder why do you say that? <laughs> <laughs> Not because of that at all. Um, but I mean, but the reality is, is just like Jenny said, it, the acting stays in a very grounded reality because we take ourselves very seriously. Like, if I was to tell you the last year of my life, it would be another telenovela we can write, you know? And like, think about all the people you talk to. Where you're like, girl, that did not happen. Girl, wait until I tell you this. Let me tell you this. And it's like the truth is, is that we take our lives very seriously when it goes up and down. And you're like, I can't believe that happened. I can't believe. We take them very seriously because they're happening to us. And I think that that's where we're going to defy the idea that telenovelas are these crazy fan fantasy written things. We're going to show you that like even the craziest thing that can happen to you really means something to you. Mm -hmm.